Okay, this is a name brand handbag rescue box. I got this from ThreadUp a few weeks ago, but I started getting some of the designer boxes and that was way more exciting for me because I hardly ever find those. So I opened those up first. So this one has been really good for me in the past though. I've gotten some really good purses in these boxes, but sometimes they're not as good. So I guess we'll get into this one and see. If you're new here, thank you for coming to check out my channel. I know I got a lot of recent subscribers from my last video. I had a really, really good sales week. So that was exciting. So welcome, my name is Heather. I'm a full-time reseller. I sell on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari mostly, sometimes Facebook Marketplace, sometimes Depop wherever I think I can make some extra money. I do these thread up mystery unboxings every Sunday. Every once in a while I keep items from them, but mostly it's for resale. So I did pay $100 for this box, five items. Usually one is an accessory. Normally it's like a wallet or something like that, but every once in a while I've gotten some jewelry. So we'll see what's in this one. Subscribe down below if you like mystery unboxings. And let's just get into it. I'm gonna give you a top look. <clears throat> and if I look really tired, it's like, because I am, because I just woke up. It's like 7 a.m. on a Sunday morning. Sometimes I'm a good reseller and I'm just like, yes, I'm going to get this done earlier this week. I'm going to schedule it and everything's going to be great. And then other times like today, I'm like, oh crap, it's Sunday. I got to put up a video before I get to church. <laughs> so anyway, let me give you a top look. Here's what I'm seeing when I first open it. I will show you guys what I got. If you are interested in anything, you can message me. All of my information is down below, social media's email and all of that. So let's get into it. This is the first item. It's a Dooney and Burke canvas like crossbody, but you can see this obvious stain right here. So why is it being blurry? I don't know if you can get that out. If you guys have any ideas on this like ink stain, like how do I get that out? There's also like a slight stain back here. It has a brown leather crossbody handle and then like a little braided zipper pull. Um, this is adjustable. It's a like, cute size and everything, but I'm just like, that's a major mark. Let me look on the inside. So here's the inside red. It's got the Dooney like I don't know what you want to call that tag. <laughs> and then usually I am looking for this with the Dooney purses, if you can see it. Um, that will help prove its authenticity. It's also got this little thing which helps you with your keys. <laughs> Do I sound like really professional? So that's the first one. It's actually really cute. If I could get this ink stain off, it would be much better. So if you have any tips for that, please leave them down below in the comments. And we'll see if I have enough energy this week to clean some purses. Okay, next. We have a long chomp bag, which I get these a lot in the designer boxes, which I'm not super happy with because I don't feel like they're that valuable. Ryan actually got one in the last box. I'll link that video if you guys didn't watch it. Somebody did tell me though that you can send them into long chomp and they will replace or fix the corners. So I haven't really looked into that. And that like they'll do it for free but i'm like so you still have to pay shipping or what i don't know these ones actually i don't think are bad <laughs> compared to how they normally are which is a good thing this is like a mini size i think it's black it's really cute um here's like their logo if you're ever looking for that and it says long chomp right back here and then also on the zipper brown leather handles. I'm losing my voice. Clean inside. So if I price this right, it'll still sell pretty quickly. Um, oh, I'm noticing a little bit of marks in here, but I feel like with this bag, just the like nylon, it should be able to be cleaned off pretty good. So I might just try like a little baby wipe or something and see how that goes. Okay, next, I almost always get this brand in here. So this is no surprise. Kate Spade brown pebbled leather, like hobo style bag. It is like a bigger bag, but it's really soft leather. It's got this fringe zipper detail, so that's pretty cute. It's a little bit adjustable here, but uh, not really much. Definitely not gonna be a crossbody or anything. This one, however, is very clean. Here's the bottom and the back. So it is in really nice condition. I'm happy about that. It's got the black and white polka dot interior. Here's the Kate Spade. 
I got a purse from somebody in a flip lot this week and there doesn't say coach anywhere and I don't know if it's authentic. This just says made in Vietnam so it doesn't have that little Kate Spade tag on the inside but I don't think, like I think it's still real. I'm not questioning that. Um, zipper pocket, I always check these because you never know what you're going to find and today is nothing. Okay, so this is pretty nice. Actually now that I'm looking at it down here like there is a little bit of like white right here. So I don't know. I'm happy with it. <laughs> I feel like this box isn't like the best, but that's okay. Here's another one. This like needs some major reshaping. Like, ugh. I don't know if you guys have any tricks because it's pretty like hard leather. This would be great for like the spring summer with these colors if it wasn't so dirty. I feel like I haven't gotten this many like dirty purses in a while. Um, I don't know. Like look at all these marks all over there and then look at the back. It's like, yikes. So I don't know what to do about that. There's some on the top. It has the top handles and like the crossbody strap. This is adjustable and the crossbody strap can be taken off, but just like Whoa, the markings. The inside's really clean. Here's the little Kate Spade tag I was like trying to say that I usually look for with the other ones. Um, so yeah, this one I feel like, oh my gosh, I don't usually like to take the time, but I'm like, I feel like I kind of have to with this or it's not going to sell for very much. So what am I supposed to do with this? It is like a really like smooth leather. So I don't know if that would make a difference on what I could try to clean it with but it's like all over. But if I can get those off, I feel like it'd be like so cute. So we'll see about that. Okay, last item is the accessory. It actually doesn't look like a wallet, something in bubble wrap, maybe some jewelry. So let's just see. It's something in a pouch in its Kate Spade again. <laughs> this is like the Kate Spade bag. I mean, the Kate Spade box. Okay, let's see. It is new as tag, so that is a plus. Looks like it is uh, some bangle bracelets. Do you think these are supposed to be together? Because I don't feel like they are. Because like this one has a tag and this one doesn't. This one's just like a gold. And let me see, it says heart of gold on the inside and it says Case Bay, New York. So this one, I don't wear bracelets. This is what I wear on my wrist, a ponytail. Um, I don't feel like this goes with this. Maybe they gave me an extra one. I don't know. And here's the other one. This one is new with tags. It says silver everyday spade. The price is like maybe 68. Somebody just like extremely crossed it out for some reason. Um, yeah. So this one's cute. It kind of has like, has this little spade here and then it has like the little sparklies. <laughs> I don't even know what to call that all over this one has a spot where you can like i am like clueless about jewelry <laughs> this comes apart i think here to like put on but how does it come apart i don't know well i mean i feel like it does because you can see that like separation right there <laughs> i'm i'm really professional aren't i okay so anyway it's cute it's new with tags I'm happy about that. I think I got a bonus one because I don't think this goes with it. So that's great. So recap, Kate Spade, Kate Spade, Kate Spade, Longchamp, and Dooney. Uh, damaged with a couple of the Kate Spades. I don't know. I'm not really super happy with this box. <laughs> I'm not like mad, but I'm not like excited. Like this, I'm gonna be like, well, I guess I'll just list this. Which I guess sometimes that's just like how it goes. And that's okay. I did get to order another designer box two nights ago. So I am excited about that because those have been really good for me and I'm getting brands that I like just don't normally find. So I might be opening one of those next Sunday. Okay, so that's the video, nice and short today. I hope you guys have a good Sunday. I will be back on Tuesday with a thrift with me video, possibly. Ryan really needs to go thrifting tomorrow because he has zero things to list. I had to just give him a couple things out of my, um, not death pile, I don't call it that, but my pile. So yeah, maybe I'll film some stuff while we are in the thrift store and then do a haul video afterwards. And that'd be good. So make sure you come back for that.
I was trying to like finish saying stuff at the end of my video and I was just I feel like rambling and then I lost my memory card in my space so I'm just like I'm gonna say bye on my phone thank you so much again for watching guys and I will see you guys again soon with my next video have a great day bye